So on the left hand side here you can see our operation steps. Also in the bottom left you can see our power button which will allow you to exit the program but we'll click no. At the bottom you can also see how many activations you have remaining but for this video we're primarily going to be focusing on the data recovery option. So we'll go ahead and click on data recovery. We'll name it. So for this we're simply going to name it DR training and then we're going to read this, go down and select the I agree option. Once we've selected the I agree option, we'll go ahead and click next and move on. Here we can see the different types, file copy, clone, or image. For this, we're going to be focusing on file copy, so that's the one we'll select. We'll go ahead and we can see that it's internal drive and removable drive. For the device type to recover, we're going to go ahead and select internal drive. We're going to see the internal SSD that's inside of this laptop that we've booted up on. We can click show partitions and see the partitions that are available. We'll uncheck that, make sure that this is a, the right drive that we want to copy from. We can also click rescan to show if there's any other drives available, but there's not. So we'll go ahead and click next. This is now the destination device, which is an external USB drive. We can go ahead and do the same, click show partitions. We can check it out, make sure it's the right drive, rescan, make sure there's nothing else, and it is indeed the right drive, so we'll go ahead and click next. Here are the recovery options. So we can see the user files, we can hit deleted user files, quarantine, uh, which basically runs a virus scan on the user files. Uh, we can also see that we can select all files for recovery, also do the same, deleted, and run the quarantine. We can also do only specific files, so say if they only want documents in business, or just their pictures, or just audio and video clips, anything there we can select that. Maybe even just folders, specific folders, such as users slash Andrew, or specific files such as sue.doc, or more than one such as andrew.jpg. Or just file types such as .jpeg or .doc. We can also do multiple by just adding a comma in each of these fields. So we'll go back and we'll only select user files and then we'll click next. So here we can verify our source drive, our destination drive, the recovery options that we have selected. And then we'll go ahead and click the go button once we're ready. So now the recovery will start, and it should only take a couple of seconds here. All right, the recovery has finished, so we'll get a status report here in a second. All right, operation complete, didn't skip any sectors, and we got 35 of 35 files successfully. Well, we can view the results here, see our documents, we can see our documents, we can actually preview some of the documents and even see the document names. So we have a couple documents here with some text in them. We'll go back. We can also preview our videos that we've, that we've uh, recovered. We can even watch video previews of the videos that we recovered. We'll go back and we'll also view the save log so we can see everything here in the operation log. We'll scroll down, make sure everything seems the way it is with the source drive, the destination drive, and what happened during the recovery. We can also click the save button, which we'll do now, and save it to our external drive so that we can have this log saved and stored. So that's it, and we'll click the done button, and we finished.